Following a detailed materiality review of Cundall in 2017, we've identified six impacts as being of most significance to our business and have established priority objectives for these. Materials and supply chain. We are seeking to reduce material consumption and use products from sustainable sources with transparent and ethical supply chains. We're going to do this through our specifications uh, by recommending high recycled content, responsibly sourced and healthy materials and products that are manufactured off-site to be incorporated into our projects. Our clients are demanding circular design solutions as well as low embodied carbon on their projects. And we need the skills and knowledge in-house to sell this service and provide design solutions meeting those needs. So for a long time there's been a lot of focus in the industry on operational carbon and with good reason, but that's probably been at the expense of materials which have a vast impact on our environment. So probably 40% of the world's materials are consumed in the built environment and that not only has environmental impact but also big carbon emissions as we're starting to decarbonise the grid that becomes increasingly prevalent and uh, something to tackle. Considering the embodied energy of the materials that we use represents a fantastic opportunity to make a positive impact uh, relating to sustainability, especially in the construction industry where large volumes of materials are used. In the future, I think we'll see an increased shift towards modular construction. This will lead to a significant reduction in waste in the construction industry. As a structural engineer, the part of the building I'll design will often be the majority of the building material and therefore the majority of the embodied energy. This means that I have the biggest influence in reducing this embodied energy by using things like life cycle assessment of the materials and by using efficient design to reduce the amount of materials used. Cundall um, offers life cycle assessments um, as a service uh, and I believe um, to make the, mo uh, the most positive impact we should be having the conversation with our clients to make sure that life cycle assessments um, are done at early design stage and not only for projects that are um, going for green star ratings but for all projects too. Um, so then the idea of um, life cycle assessments and um, good material selections are done at early design stage. I'd like to see the industry stream move further forwards towards the adaptation and reuse of existing buildings. Often this process is constrained by uh, the need for warranties associated with economics of funding. It would be very positive if we can find a way to move this forward and simplify the process. The most recent project where we've had a major impact on sustainability is the Here East development in Stratford following the Olympic Games. These were three very large buildings one a major shed where you can house Canary Wharf Tower by dropping it on its side. It's about just short of a million square feet. It was an awful tin shed. Rather than destroy that building, we've re removed all the cladding, replaced it with glazing, fitted mezzanine floors, and now we have a million square feet of functional office space, educational space, and research space. I think that was a major saving of an awful lot of work, construction, materials. In May, I attended a conference with a number of my peers where we were asked to think of an innovative way to optimise an area of the business. It was great to be able to stand up in front of some of the leadership team and talk about our idea, which was an embodied energy BIM application, which would determine the embodied em energy of a building as you were designing it. On a recent rail project, we developed an interactive walkthrough animation to give our client the look and feel of what the final product will look like without the need of wasting material and resources on building a physical mock-up. Cundall are also developing a sustainable procurement framework which will govern all of our procurement decisions in terms of consumables and refurbishment materials, as well as looking at some of the services that we procure, including subconsultants, cleaning services and the like. By doing this, we can implement certain guidelines around the environmental and social impact of our purchasing decisions. The fit out project of our Hong Kong office. Uh, the feature wall in the reception area was upcycled from timber reclaimed from an old Hong Kong trawler. It ended up uh, reducing the waste being disposed of to the Hong Kong landfill. 
if businesses are purchasing from smaller companies and more sustainable companies, I feel like this is good for everyone. We tend to use a lot of smaller companies um, and companies that have social enterprise because I feel like one, it's good for everybody and two, it gives us more variety.